world. Although the message of these women may be genuine, a closer look at who made the film reveals a much more insidious agenda that goes far beyond simply promoting women's rights. Rakaya Shamsuddin on Letters from the Underground writes, those working behind the scenes use the film's theme, that of women's rights abuses, as a way in which to obscure their involvement in histrionic anti-Islam campaigns. They continue to push their Islamophobia, this time with a semblance of legitimacy. She's right. The producer and writer of the film, Paula Queskin, has also written about Israel's non-occupation of the Gaza Strip and deemed the Gaza flotilla part of, quote, a political war to demonize Israel. And it gets worse. Alex Trayman is another producer and writer who was also the director of a film called Bomb Iran. That cheery flick was written by pro-Israeli organization The Clarion Project. Now, The Clarion Project is a group that is, quote, dedicated to exposing the dangers of Islamic extremism and is best known for its other work, which includes Obsession, Radical Islam's War Against the West, and The Third Jihad, Radical Islam's Vision for America. And the executive producer of Honor Diaries is the founder of The Clarion Project, Raphael Shore. Now, the Clarion Project is funded by three of the seven top anti-Islam and anti-Muslim organizations in the U.S. and is called the, quote, lifeblood of the Islamophobia network in America by the Center for American Progress. But we can't forget about the other executive producer of the film and resident expert, Ayan Hirsi Ali, who once said that Islam, and no, not just radical Islam, Islam as a whole must be abolished, and those adhering to the religion crushed. Needless to say, the film has stirred much controversy across the country and is being protested by CARE, or the Council on American Islamic Relations. But those who defend the film claim that the term Islamophobia is only applied to those who are brave enough to take on radical Islam. Right. Because it's not like the entire Western world and its insane military might isn't already doing that, you know, by regularly invading and drone bombing sovereign nations across the Muslim world. Look, this film no doubt has an important message that we all should hear, but at the end of the day, we need to look at who made it and what the intentions of these people really are. Beyond its faux legitimacy, Honor Diaries is prepackaged propaganda that will be used to perpetuate a culture of fear, hate, and to further demonize the Muslim community. Because once you're looking through a lens of us versus them, humanity's lost.